What's up, boy? <coughs> I think I, I think my our biggest problem is our connection. <laughs> That's what the bitches say. I tell me. <laughs> <laughs> what an opening. <laughs> uh, <coughs> so yeah, man. So yeah, no, like for me again, I think a lot of people um we just we we tend to fold you know because we think our our problem is is the biggest problem and and biggest we forget that problem. you know a, a lot of problems are are of very much global you know it's not it's not just like it's like if i have daddy issues chances are someone else has it it's not like i'm the only person that has this stuff you know or if i have family issues or if i have gone through a trauma or um if i'm going through some problem that i'm going through now whatever it is it's like look bro there's a lot more people in the world and you're probably just part of the people that have had this problem and part of people that have had it previously and are just part of people that are going to have the same problem you know so you're not as isolated as you think you are but at the same time you're isolated in the sense that it's actually your journey yeah bro yeah <clears throat> and the trauma. fact that Yeah, it's your journey and it's your trauma and it's yours to deal with, but know that you're not alone, you know, it's not like, you know, all of a sudden it's a, it's a new thing that you're going you're going through. It's like it's it's happened. Life throws us these things. Sometimes you go and look for them and it happens and now what are you going to do with it, you know? And and I, again, like I said, it's it's better off you're better off thinking about the medium to future than about the short term because you know, the short term generally is a birth of more problems. you know <clears throat> and and it helps a lot as well to look at your problems as a as a source of goal you know to try to say okay well i have this issue now how am i going to solve it okay well let me look at avenues formulate your problem write it down if you need to think about it if you need to it's better if you write it down but think about it and then think about how you're going to get there well i need to do this to get that i need to do that to get that I need to do this to get that and i need to connect this to that and it's like a journey it's something that you you really like especially when you see it because you're like oh man this whole thing connects you know and then you go forth and you start doing it and you set yourself time timelines you know um because again if you don't then it's like well what are you going to do you're just going to leave it there and you know under the mat and then it's then what then t- next year you wake up and it's the same problem and two years time it's the same problem actually probably even worse So you're going to leave the alcohol problem now or what about 5 years time when now you don't have a family you don't have a job you don't have a wife you don't have kids you don't have anything that you had before now it's more than just an alcohol problem because even if you solve the alcohol issue now or the drug issue now or the whatever issue that you have now 5 years time it's compounded so much that that's actually not even your biggest problem anymore yeah, yeah. Well, <clears throat> you need to work through the traumas of that problem yeah 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 and it's an ongoing thing as well I think it's good to embrace it you know just like pain it's good to kind of yeah it's good to embrace it like pain where you take it and you think to yourself you know what like what what's worse than pain well actually what's worse is is having no pain because if you have no pain at all then you don't even know what pain is you can't even synthesize what love is or any other emotion because it's all connected it, they're all relative to each other so therefore I take this pain with a pinch of salt to say well You know what <clears throat> the nice thing about it is that I can get something off it, out of it the nice thing about a scab is that there's something brewing underneath that's nice and if I can just bear this pain on the surface yeah. I can know it and get something out of it you know so just like problems it's like well here it is there's a scab at the top but then there's something underneath that's lying there embedded you know that you can once you take that little problem off at the top when you take the problems that you have off then you can kind of then new things grow and you become a better person yeah well, because if you don't do that then what then what do you become you just become a a, com- a a combination of problems that you then can't even you don't even look down enough to see because it's so deep down there they're underground your biggest problems yeah but and then you go around and you start joining formulating groups and becoming part of society changes and trying to you know uh speak for the poor you try to speak for women and you try to hate men and it's like bro oh, just you know go back to your own little hut and go back to your own little thought processes and think perhaps maybe my issues came from the fact that i had an encounter with someone or i had an encounter with a man that i didn't like perhaps it's your own personal problem <clears throat> perhaps it's not everyone's problem 
but now you're manifesting it out in the world as if it's a massive issue. Perhaps you weren't paid enough at your previous job. Now all of a sudden you say that there's a gender pay gap because it's because of gender. It's like, man, now uh, maybe you should just go take it up with your own personal company. Yeah, well, and and you mm-hmm. know how it is. Bro. It's like we both, everyone goes through the same things. You know, I've been at jobs where I don't even like it. You know. And it's like, well, I could easily just say, ah, you know what? All these jobs are terrible. All these people that look like this and all these people that sound like this are going to be terrible. And it's like, maybe perhaps it's just that person. Or maybe perhaps it's the way that you are to people like that that makes you then think that you perceive them that way. Yeah, well? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, that's one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Your so, attitude a lot of the time contributes and we always forget that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's again that's that that's that surface problem the one that you don't want to look at yeah. that surface problem of <clears throat> perhaps <clears throat> perhaps it's the way that I react to someone that I think is going to be like this that then I then all of a sudden um project out into the world that people like that are like this towards me and it's like no nah, bro that's not it's not t- t- toxic masculinity perhaps it's just your toxic yeah, traits problem in authority yeah exactly could be that exactly bro and that, and and it's perhaps your toxic traits within you that then manifest out there and then you then see what you you're looking at you know it reminds me it reminds me even of of this chick that i that i know by one of the smartest girls i've talked to that always tells me like it's easy to have excuses yeah well it's there's all anyone can make an excuse anyone can make an excuse of anything and think about it all the time yeah well but then if you want to show up show up Yeah, but don't just say you're going to show up, show up. Show up for yourself first before you want to show up for someone else and other things as well. Yeah, but and it's so it's so deep <laughs> when you think of it that way because it's true. It's like, yeah, perhaps I need to before I even try to fight for this and fight for that and you know, fight for big women or fight for <clears throat> this country and fight for, you know, my race and fight for my gender. Perhaps I need to come and look back and think maybe I should show up for myself first. Maybe I should try to try to formulate better relationships with these people that I'm trying to that I'm thinking that they're trying to uh <clears throat> um, oppress me. Yeah, exactly. Cuz cuz yeah, oppress, oppress all the time. I'm the one that's being oppressed. It's like perhaps you're per, perhaps you're oppressing yourself. Yeah, bro. And it's you're just <laughs> it's, playing into it and being a victim every exactly, time. You're just playing exactly. victim. Exactly. It's like here's another example. It's like <clears throat> like your big problem sometimes you know you have personal problems so but then so, certain times you have obviously problems that are gender based you have problems that are actually gender based you know not this whole gender based violence stuff that i don't even understand <clears throat> yeah but you have these problems that are that are gender based in the sense of like as a guy for example when you when you grow up you don't really have like something that you can set yourself on you don't need to Yeah, well, you don't have problems that life is going to is going to give you just for being a guy. Yeah, well, they might you might have something like you know, common nah, there, there, there are. Yeah, but I'm saying in terms of life gives it to you. So whereas, like, like for instance, like a, as a as a woman, life right? does. But but you're gonna talk about um um biologic biological differences. Yeah, that's what I mean. Of, doing PMSing and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, there's that for women. But then with, like, you see how how we interact as men and women together. Yeah. We are yeah. different, but yeah. we're different, but there's a balance, right? Yeah. Women, uh, we we see women as guys, uh, as sex objects. It's fine, clean. Mm-hmm. They see us as success objects. Mm-hmm. So with that, with that a man has a burden of performance to always perform and to be successful so if you don't fall into that successful category then mm-hmm. you're not even going to be a guy that's going to be on their radar fair enough so we mm-hmm. all we, we all have our different proper gender gender differences uh-huh. and there are double standards and we need to be fine with it look look uh-huh. at, it's like um when we had when we had that um patriarchy chat last time yeah yeah mm-hmm. i said i i said um a person needs to be okay with with um with their privileges look at their privileges 
if you if you really do not want um patriarchy in your life just say mm-hmm. i'm going to give up my privileges you give up yours and mm-hmm. we'll try to our best of our ability to live a a equal life mm-hmm. uh whereas with um um whereas when you do want the yaki then you need to be also not think that you're being oppressed you are less than i don't know when when this thing um with women where they think that being like less not physically as strong it makes you weak or or just taking care of the home or certain situations what not as being a woman feminine feminine traits are seen as weak in this generation and it i don't understand it i i i i i i really don't understand it and that is where now we see that now you want to be more like men you become more like men you become more masculine do men want that at the end of the day no you want to want that do they want yeah. to be more masculine Yeah that's it's like it's that's the thing is that they want they I'm want the authority without the accountability in that one. Yes exactly exactly so so again i mean those those that's another set of problems i i was i was leaning more towards of like the fact that they're, they're, and all that Yeah yeah like you have your own certain set of problems as a as a as a guy or as a girl that life gives you as a right? guy you can't speak to anyone but that that's what we've placed on you can't really cry and show your emotions Yeah no I mean well that's a societal problem I'm just I'm talking about in terms of like like just being given physiologically birth. Okay. Yeah 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 so physiologically and biologically you kind of you kind of have to set you have to you, as a guy you kind of have to set your own problems and then try to conquer them right whereas a woman even if you don't set them time goes by where then you have PMS and you you know you're then ready to 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 um to have kids and therefore from that then you have to have a societal problems which then says okay well then if you're going to have this this life problem that you're going to have you're going to need to down set everything else in order right so then you go and you you get you can counter these mm-hmm. problems and then you you can kind of then push you can you take them and you push towards trying to find solutions for them so for instance it's like you then find a lot of women for instance trying to um make make uh, live videos and try to get social media um things going on you know trying to make money that way or trying to make money of being models and trying to make money of you know runways and stuff much more than men right and Only and again it, yeah yeah again ex- exactly yeah so and and it, and it's like you they encounter problems that is kind of like almost gender uh with gender traits in the or gender problems and gender traits in the mindset and then you encounter problems and then they they can actually go forthrightly and do these things whereas for us guys we kind of like well you know what i didn't make it in football i didn't make it in rugby so well let me just chill you know but then it's like okay well then that's that's again it's 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 group problems but then the ultimate problem is you yourself what are you doing to try to then counteract these issues but that also- you have but also with with that um sorry to disturb your trail of thought yeah, even with that yeah. a lot of that is based on society but it's also got physiological um things to do with Elemental. it like if mm-hmm. you're, you you can't go play center back if you 5 6 yeah yeah you can't want exactly. to go play yeah, basketball yeah. short you can't be really skinny and want to go play prop all these yeah. things um they also compound that you have this issue as well yeah. So and then it becomes a it's kind of physiological yeah 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 so you go from having group problems in terms of oh well it's men against women why can't women uh play basketball it's like yeah you can but yeah but men get paid more or whatever it is and it's like no they really don't but okay fine and then you then as a man itself you have a problem of oh well, I can't even make the team you know and it's like and then you have a problem of oh well, I'm actually not even tall enough and you have a problem with I don't actually fight hard enough yeah. and then it goes all the way down and into the whole well you know what perhaps the whole problem that you have is actually from your core from yourself yeah and that's the same with life as well it's like it's easy to go out there and say you understand that life is not fair and there yeah. are people that are just more gifted you you need to do something else with your life find something and that is find something pick your problem exactly 
instead of now always this this is also going to make your life even worse now you go mm-hmm. and have a drinking problem you you want to say that people are unfair they were biased against you and what not i just like bro okay fine it happened <laughs> but at some point you need you need to be now like what? i need to be on my journey now what can i do to improve improve my life yeah. like yeah life was never meant to be fair yeah. like from or else we'd all be the same size same skin color same skin tone and all that and life could be fair some utopia that we mm. can all simulate in but we need to understand bro we're going to suffer in this life some mm. things some things you're going to suffer more than than other the next person and th- mm. and that is okay mm. it's not mm. okay but mm. th- that is life uh, mm. th- that's what it is no one was asked to be here but we just need to go forward with with, with yeah. what we've been given each mm. got our own different gifts and all that so mm. you can cry about you know what like, yeah i didn't make the team and then upelela ulinxila or what not yeah now what dog that's, <laughs> and so, like, that was not even the problem anymore yeah. the, the fact yeah. that you didn't make the team the people that you drink with don't want to hear this you just <laughs> causing more problems with those people now now yeah. they hate you cuz no. you feel <laughs> like life was had done you wrong you missing out on mm-hmm. you causing problems your problems you putting them onto other people instead of listen let's go heal as people mm-hmm. like i i really believe as black people in this country i think we need the, the most healing because <laughs> our problems don't even stem from ourselves alone actually Mm-hmm. they go from i think they come from a deeper place like we inherit problems from our parents mm-hmm. from the bantu bantu education system how they were taught to raise children or what not there are certain mm-hmm. things that you're going to pick up and be like fuck i fucks with this parenting style you need to be you need to actually punish children and discipline them and then there are certain issues where you're like okay um to get on um done like mm-hmm. this is not going to make it any better like there's certain dynamics that you need to learn from and mm-hmm. yeah man yeah i actually don't not even know what thought. i was saying i just lost my trail of thought but yeah <laughs> just put your phone still yeah and try and with this ring light is fucked uh, okay there you go yeah. Yeah no I yeah totally what I totally understand what you're saying bro and and again it's like it's weird because it's like you you fell asleep you wake up and then all of a sudden you hear certain terms that don't even make sense it's like they're there just to confuse you you know like 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 um yeah. gender based violence and these and systematic uh, things and what systematic not. racism and and uh what are these things like e- equality for all and you thinking what do these things actually mean It's like someone just rocked up and said, "Look, we're going to we're going to try to be um victims today, so let's let's make a term. Let's, you know, so uh societal racism." It's like, oh, "Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Systematic. Okay. What does that even mean? What does systematic even mean? Like how like what system are you talking about that that like what is it? And you get to a, to a point where you you actually <laughs> you speak to someone and you speak circles around them so much that you actually understand then that you don't even know what you're talking about. or you don't even have they a basis of what you're saying they get frustrated at you for asking because you're supposed to understand we're all supposed to know what this means there's mm-hmm. some system design no bro no. there were <laughs> rules during a bad eight and those rules we tried by all means to 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 think about to um abolish them we even put mm-hmm. in affirmative action and mm-hmm. now you're telling me what you say man like we just all speak from our feelings of certain things and the one thing that really bothers me as black people i can't be racist as a black person i don't understand But, that i've never understood that are you telling are you telling me you can't be prejudiced you're not a bigot <laughs> you know you know like, it's like uh, it's it's again it's one of these things of let me teach you how to be a victim and then how to run away from how someone else can tell you 
that you're the oppressor. So what you do is you just confuse them. And then once you confuse them, then cool, it's sorted. It's like, it's, it's, it's such a weird concept. You know, it's, it's the same thing as like, it's like with this violence thing, you know, that we always talk about. It's like, when I, if you watch a guy hitting a girl, it's like, it's tragic. But how about when a girl hits a guy? You just, oh, no, well, that, yeah, we don't know what to call that. There's no term for that. Doesn't it's kind of, called doesn't assault. Really yeah, it's yeah, called assault. Yeah, that's why that's why this entire GBV doesn't make sense to me. We've had <laughs> we've had we've had um, laws in place for time mm. now. Mm. These laws still work either way. It's mm-hmm. still common assault, whether it's a man or a woman. What more are you trying to 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 get from this? This is more of an emotional appeal. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, how exactly. I see it. It's just yep, exactly, exactly, bro. And and look, and and this is the thing as well. It's like no one ever said that the statistics are not like the physical statistics from from uh, males towards females is not high. Like no one said that, right? But now when you have these terms that keep running around, break it down. And, and, yeah, Let's they, break it down. Like, yeah, it's like I, I, what is the purpose of that? You know, and also it's like. Okay, fair enough. Like, if you hit someone, right, you're oppressing them. But it doesn't necessarily mean that that person now didn't do something to oppress you. You know, it's not, there's not only one, there's not only one narrative to this, you know. Because, and the reason why they have to have one narrative is for the fact that then, well, then there's one problem and then they're the oppressor and you are the victim. So therefore the game makes sense. And I'm always going to be the victim. And it's like... <laughs> Yeah. Well, what if you're lying? No, no, no. Do you know what's scary? It's when you're not even lying and you're going to say, when you're going to say provocation, doesn't matter. <laughs> like, it, it, you're going to say what, what the other person did. Uh, we're going to nullify that. Mm-hmm. We, mm-hmm. we don't you know care. What? It's your mm-hmm. actions and only you we're going to hold accountable because you know that person and how and how they are. But we're not going to take the time to understand that person and understand how, how he is triggered and how when a person like that is triggered, how they're going to react. Mm-hmm. Male and, yeah. It's like I said, men and women, we're not that different, but yeah. our differences okay. in, the, in, in, the, in the climax of it all, mm-hmm. they, 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 we, we're different. So Men and women are both aggressive. 60 mm-hmm. 40 breakdown of it. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. how we're going to show our aggression is completely different. Women, mm-hmm. manipulation, um, mm-hmm. shaming you, insults, trying to guilt you. Mm-hmm. Men, physical brute force, strength. That, mm-hmm. the, the, that is how. That is why mm-hmm. you have a higher number of people that are in jails. That's mm-hmm. why of men that are in jails overall. Mm-hmm in all mm-hmm. crimes because mm-hmm. you feel you feel superior to a woman you you're mm-hmm. gonna you, you're more likely as a man to do it but mm-hmm. also then let's look at the people that go and commit these crimes mm-hmm. in the male population what what is the number of that it, mm-hmm. it's not it's they commit all the crimes but that's a small mm-hmm. number of men that are doing all this shit mm-hmm. and we're gonna say then that is in male nature mm-hmm. That's it's funny. weird. That, it's dog, weird. How do you yeah. how do you go around and say that that is men? But we also then also gonna take we gonna say fuck 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 whatever you did wrong. It doesn't matter what you did. Doesn't wrong. matter. That, bro. that just that's just you know. And and mm-hmm. men who also who also um, subscribe to it. I'm like and women. I'm just like, do you understand that? Whether you're right or wrong, this is, your turn is going to come. There is mm. no way I'm going to say this thing that doesn't make sense. I'm going to ride with it. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have empathy for women that have, um, that, that have been assaulted by men. I, mm. I, I empathize with you. I really do. But let's not, not the then... Whole it's not the whole picture. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I understand mm. the good intentions. I really mm-hmm. understand the good intentions, but hell mm-hmm. is paved with good intentions, man. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. 
a lot of good intentions. Look at look at a whole lot of totalitarian totalitarians. Look at dictators started with good intentions. That's how they got the people behind them. Yeah, and, and then they can sway wherever they want. Because then, because then logic tends to run away. Because then it's like, oh well, they've got me. It's exactly how governments form. You know, they got me when I was in my most vulnerable state, and I rode with them. And then everything that they said, I was kind of like, oh, it doesn't really make sense. But hey, I believe, I believe in them, and I believe in them, and I'm gonna cherish them, and I'm gonna, you know, um, ride with them until the point where you get so far that you that you actually realize now you've been part of the crime. Yeah. But, and 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 now you can't really? turn back you can't turn back now you just follow you just keep going because now you look at you look back and you think oh no look at all the people that I've actually messed up saying that I was the victim and I actually became the perpetrator and as soon as you realize that you're the perpetrator you look back and you think oh actually I don't want to be caught for that I now I need to keep moving I need to keep moving and now the 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 perpetrators that you thought were coming after you they are really going to come after you now because now they're like well you messed our life up so we're going to do the same to you it's the same thing that happens with race yeah it's the same thing that happens with race it's like cool you want to talk you got to talk systematic racism all the time systematic racism systematic racism okay and then you go and you put be in place you put affirmative action in place and you have all these systems or even the women black empowerment in place for example you put all those things in there and now all of a sudden this actual evidence of a racial change or racial a racial privilege we can justify that we can justify that one but these mm-hmm. systematic ones and what not we can't we don't even understand them but we just throwing words out there and just because you have the masses that are shouting what you're saying as well they echoing you're in the echo chamber of people they're saying yeah 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 white people are fucked up mm. it's like it's weird to me man we can't even laugh anymore we can't mm. laugh anymore Mm. Leon Schuster was got funny as a child. Yeah. Now, now all of a sudden you he's, he's a you, you can't watch Mama Jack now. <laughs> I can't watch Mama Jack. Ah, come on. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> you are playing with me, man. I can't it's laugh crazy. now. This is funny, bro. We working yeah. on stereotypes. Stereotypes it doesn't mean you're racist. This is just this is what is happening, bro. Especially Don't need to fight them, bro. especially when you're a comedian it's weird cuz i mean your whole your whole act is stereotypes it's it's touching on places where people don't want to go now all of a sudden you do that and they tell you ah oh, no nah, no nah, can't do that but what if a black guy did it uh no okay well that's fine that that's all right i mean you know white people so really not like, they're like yeah. <laughs> some people some people are actually a bit touchy i remember going to um a, a comedy show for seven years while up at pinelands night Yeah. So we went to a comedy show at Baxter to watch him. So he had like a skit of Utanga um, mm-hmm. naming your child Utanga. Um, mm-hmm. Hey, my dad, about the show, that was the one thing he was thinking. He was like, no, man, this nigga, how can he make Utanga um, sound like it's a painful name? Yeah, we have Katanjelo, not Katanga, but Katanga, go kind, yeah, man, go tell what. Bro, it's just a fucking <laughs> joke. It's just a fucking yeah. joke. But, but you know, the, the also the the thing is also where I where I see how these these things are are just what is a clout, eh? Just clout chasing. Yeah. Right? Because because And it's like you know. look, Yeah, it's like you I have videos like this where I'm putting myself out there to be demolished, right? So that then mm. at least then I know that well the foundation that was there wasn't good enough and now I need to grow back up again. right so the, the so you have conversations like this or i have i post things like this to be demolished and then people will come and then they'll you know have their say and whatever and some of the things i'm like okay well, most of the people will agree um most some people would say okay well no i don't really th- i don't really think that was and i'm like okay cool well, then let's have a conversation you know let's have yeah. it and it's not a fight and it's like no 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 i don't want to have it it's like how do you not yeah. have a conversation about something that you trust us or not about? if you have a, if you strongly feel about something you want to correct and then you want to teach then do it why can't we have the conversation because as time goes by you sit and you think you should go learn happen. yourself is what they'll tell you yeah. you should yeah, go yeah. you should go learn it yourself you are wrong i can't <laughs> articulate it but you are wrong yes i can't right. articulate it but you're terrible yeah whatever you thinking no 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 can't be right because i was taught to be the victim so therefore you're wrong and i i i i can't think about it i can't articulate it. it doesn't make logical sense to me 
and I don't think it makes logical sense to anyone, but I'm going to keep going with it because I benefit from it. It sounds Until right. It makes me feel nice. Yes, yes, exactly. And it makes me feel secure. It's a safe space for me. And it's like perhaps that space that you think is safe is, is the worst possible place that you can be in. How safe do you think your space actually is? You know, because you sit there and you only tell each other the things that you want to hear. And it's like, well, do you think that's safe? Do you think that actually the best thing for you is to hear the things that you want to hear? Probably not, because sometimes your enemies are the best things that you can hear from, because they'll tell you truthful things about you and because they don't yep. care about you. But you need those things to then understand, oh, maybe, yeah, maybe I'm actually like this. Perhaps I need to change that. That's why I'm not friends with those people. That, oh, that's why those people repel me. Oh, well, that's what. Ah, okay. And now you at least not hurts for a short term period. But then as time goes by for medium to long term, it helps you. Exactly, man. But the, the funny thing with these guys that are going to go and clout chase, sometimes they just want to tweet a banger. They, they, they don't care about the content in itself. They're not trying to look at everything. No. The one time I, I heard a girl say, I watched the first 15 seconds and I knew he's speaking trash. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly that. Yeah, that's exactly that. I have nothing to say here. Yeah. I have nothing to say. This is a 10-minute yeah. clip. You watched 15 seconds and you made up your mind. Yeah. Diet. Yeah, I, I have mind. nothing more that I can say to you. That's exactly that. That's, and, it, and that stuff, stuff like that then translates to the stuff that, I'm, that we're talking about now in terms of well, if he's a he's a guy, so I'm not even going to listen to him about women issues. Okay, fine then, don't. But then, who else are you going to hear from? Who else are you going to hear the opposite uh, spectrum from if it's not going to be from a guy? Can't be from a girl. Well, then what happens? And they hear from women. And it's like, yeah. And then they hear from women. And then it's like, still not a guy. Then whatever they you believe in. You pick me. You Shifting the goalpost. Shifting the goalpost. Yeah, bro. And and I mean, like again, there's there's a it's a it's a it's a it's a small minority of people. Can you hear me? Yeah, small minority make all the noise. Sorry, man. Yeah, so it's a small minority that makes all the noise, but the problem with it is the fact that then it's it's like a growing cancer. You know, it's a growing cancer, and there's a lot more people that are that are that are in mm. tune with this what what the things that are going on that like to logically think about stuff that are willing to, to, to listen to each other, but they're just sometimes very much afraid of the backlash because, yeah. you know, you know how these people get, man, you know, these cancel cultures and all this, this stuff. And again, their problems are then are, are personal more than they are group wise because that group will leave you, bro. You know, that group, as soon as you know, you'll go and you sit in your little safe space. And then as soon as you say something, that's out of it. Problem, we saw the first wave feminism. White mm. women got their rights. I peace. They left the movement. Black women were there on their own. We've seen this historically mm. many a times that it's not really group problems, but if we're in a group, we'll be much louder. Yeah. But sometimes you do, you, I don't want to say that you don't get things where it is a group um, thing. But yeah. a lot of the time, a lot of the time, you're all there and you started to form it because you come from a personal issue that you have not sorted out first. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's fine to be in a group. I have no problem with it. But I want us to all be aware of why you're in there. What do you want out of there? And if it's not what you're getting and the message just sounds kind of nice and dandy, understand mm -hmm. that. It's going to come full circle, buddy. It will. Like, but so, yeah, that's my two piece on that, man. Like, it's, it's not more the group thing. We all have something that is eating us up and you mm -hmm. go and feed into the group, group dyna dynamics and then you wonder, you look up and you're like, how did, how did I get here? How did I get so lost? You were in the mm -hmm. source, brother. You got yeah, lost. And they leave in you, bro. And they leave you. Again, it's like when you go back to what we're saying now, it's like going back to say these drug issues or these these issues that you have with these safe spaces is that then your problem, you're, you have a problem, you go into these groups, right? But then you, you, think you don't solve your own personal problems. And when you go into these groups, 
what happens is then you you form there and you think oh, okay well let's all smoke together or let's all drink together or let's all just kind of leave these things that that are personal and run away from it and you know form these little uh, um <clears throat> these uh these movements so called right and you do all of that stuff mm-hmm. and then as time goes by you're left alone because then what happens is that group keeps on moving and your problems keep compounding and as they keep compounding and you don't look at them they hit you at some point because then then it becomes a personal problem and it says hey look or you can't just leave me now because you know i'm big enough to be to be listened to and now you're like yeah but i'm with the group and it's like yeah but <laughs> we're personal bro you're going to get sick what what are you going to do now you're going to still go with the group and then you go go and you divide yourself and then you go and you you know you sort your own problems out you then you go to say um hospital or whatever you, whatever it is that this problem grew up so big to be say a mental problem now it's an actual mental full blown uh mental illness and now you go and so try to solve that thing what happens then you think this group is going to be with you of course and they just leave you bro now you're not part of the group no, you just you just the one you 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 just one person in the group you just a small it's number so this was by mistake it happened not one or it's not it's yeah. not It's not all of us man he's just he's just left wing too much I'm going to hit you up now now okay just wait I right, go cool.